So first, look at the patient position. You know, what is the patient position? Knee is extended and a little bit of externally rotated. Like uh, when we are doing the aspiration in the suprapatellar recess, then knee is somewhere 30 to 45 degree flexed. But here knee is extended, maybe a slight flexion around 5 degree. And more important is that, that you see the petal on the facing the lateral side. So external rotation is important. So that your this part, medial part, medial condyle and the petal, this part is exposed nicely. So aspect marker is towards the lateral side. This side is your aspect marker. And this is the other side. So we are holding this side is the other side, aspect marker in the on the other side. That is on the lateral side. And this side is the medial side. So after that, we are holding, this is the home page. So look at the structures what we can see here. This is your, the medial femoral condyle. And this is the bone, this is the patella. And here we can see two important structures here. One is superficial one. This is one ligament. This is your patellar retinaculum. And below that, there is another layer. This is one layer. This is another layer. This is your patellofemoral ligament. This is the deeper one. And superficial one, which is continuous with the uh, vastus medialis muscle. What we can see here? Again, let me annotate it and let me tell you. So this is your very clear patella, medial end of the patella. You see how the patient, we are holding it. So this is your medial condyle. These are the two ligaments. One is your retinaculum and below one is your, uh, the patellofemoral ligament. And this is the synovial sac. And these are the fats. So our needle should be coming here like this. You can see the two distinct layer of the ligaments. When you are scanning, when you are going up, up and down, we can see the two distinct layer. Superficial one is the medial patellar reticulum and deeper one is your patellofemoral ligament. So you are giving the local anesthetic injection in the skin. You see, the local anesthetic is not coming down. It is just above the, the medial patellar reticulum. And the two layers are very distinctly seen, very nicely seen. Because we'll be giving PRP, we are not giving any local anesthetic deeper, only the skin subcutaneous tissue. I hope everyone could appreciate the two near layers very nicely. Yes, the sir. medial patellar retinaculum and the patellofemoral ligament. So needle is from medial to lateral side. Medial to lateral side. Now we are entering into the synovial sac. So we have reached the, in the target. Even if the patient is having no effusion or minimal effusion, even then he will be able to do these things. He'll be able to see the synovial sac nicely. So once the needle is in the proper position, then we'll be giving the PRP and the visco supplementation. This is the PRP injection. So PRP injection is, you can see the flow of the drug PRP inside. Normally, if you are in the proper position, it will not be bulging out. Means the this will not bulge out. So it will be going inside. You will not be seeing the fluid there inside. You see now we are giving the visco. It, will be, it is going inside. It is nothing will be coming outside. If it is coming outside here in this area, then you are in the wrong position. Okay, so that completes the procedure.